G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags. Now, as a general rule when I do my Cold Waters videos, I record the commentary live and that will be the case for the rest of this video, but I needed to put a little bit of an introduction on here because it's something that I noticed on my first playthrough and completion of the South China Sea campaign and it's something that is popping up here as well. Today's video is going to consist of four different battles that all happened on almost exactly the same tile on exactly the same part of the map as I was going for one mission objective. Now, the mission objective was a submarine that I kill in the third battle that I'm going to be putting up in this video. The other three were escorts, but the game stacked them so each escort was its own individual battle rather than being, you know, three escort submarines and a target submarine all in one battle at once. Now I'm not entirely sure why this happens, in fact finding multiple submarines in a single engagement is actually incredibly rare in the South China Sea campaign where running into two or three submarines simultaneously in the 84 campaign is pretty much the norm. If you detect one there will be at least two. So what's the problem with this? Well China's equipment's kind of crap. Their submarines aren't very good, and even once they start getting access to Soviet submarines, which I'm past that point inside of the, the South China Sea campaign now, finding high-end submarines is actually relatively uncommon. The most common one you'll run into is stuff like the Alpha. And while I have on other playthroughs run into Sierras, there was only maybe two or three for the entire campaign. In the Atlantic campaign, you're constantly running into high-end submarines, and you're only sailing a Los Angeles class 688 attack submarine, which is a powerful, powerful platform, but the power gap between it and the high-end Soviet submarines that you'll encounter, especially since you encounter multiples of them, is much, much lower. Now, the South China Sea campaign is designed around you taking out the Sea Wolf, but you're running into diesel electrics constantly, and they're not even good diesel electrics. Now you could make up by that by putting lots of diesel electrics in the ocean all at once and literally flooding the area with torpedoes and making you actually use the Sea Wolf. But um, apparently all of the Chinese submarine captains went to the Hollywood school of advanced fighting a hero because everybody lines up nice and neat to engage you one at a time in completely separate battle spaces, not actually grouping up in sending a massive wolf pack against the new enemy nuclear submarine that's wrecking everybody's day. I think I need to start up another Atlantic campaign. That was a hell of a lot of fun. Anyways, guys, we're going to jump over the live comms for the rest of these battles, and I hope you enjoy. Shit. That is close. Signature, what do we got? Hmm. It's song? No, the fourth line's out. It's not a song. Ming, it's a Ming. Okay. Thirty-seven percent solution range, twelve point nine kiloyards. Um, whoa, okay. Range five point one kiloyards. God, this thing is so blind. Five kiloyards away, and I've still got a big enough margin to fire a torp without it actually hearing the transient. cutting the bow, I'm probably, well, I could potentially lose a cable here. Uh, 
lights off. Um, I've just turned off the active sonar because the Ming is deaf enough that if I don't start actively pinging its hull with a torpedo, it's quite possible it won't actually hear this torpedo come in until just about an, in an impact. Actually, I can sort of demonstrate this. Watch this. One ping. Starts popping countermeasures up until I turn the active sonar on. It actually really doesn't matter. I'm not going to miss this. But uh, up until I turned the active sonar on, the Ming had no idea this torpedo was coming in. It couldn't hear it. Now it's going evasive. should be all she wrote for the little Ming. Okay. So that's another deaf submarine taken out. actually dropping a little bit. 2.9 kiloyards. I'm reasonably sure this will actually be the mission target, however. I wonder if that means this one's actually going to have an escort. It's actually kind of sad. We're within like five kiloyards of that Ming in the, the last engagement, and it was sitting at around minus five on passive. This Romeo's at 10.2 kiloyards, and it's negative eight. Well, negative six now. Romeos were built in the 1950s. They're based on German World War II technology that was captured um, as the Soviets caught parts of the U-boat development program. And it has better passive sonar than the Ming, which I think is 1970s off the top of my... just off the top of the head. I mean, don't, don't quote me on that. It might be 1960s. It was 1960s or 1970s uh, development. In fact, um, if I recall correctly, the Ming was actually developed off the Romeo. It was supposed to be an improved version of it, but here they're just so trash. Con, Helm, steady course. 9.3, 53%. Yeah, we're good enough for a shot. Torpedoes away. Uh, counterfire, counterfire, that is a lot closer than I thought. Alright, let's adjust that for short arm. Um, and there's the active ping. Let's set depth. Yeah, that is... Oh, ow! That is very loud, is what that is. Um, let's set for flank. Yeah, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Alright, so the wire's broken, but that's alright. We are going to take this thing right down and get underneath these torpedoes. Alright, that's good news. Feet. And we should be well safe of. Yeah, should be well safe of that torpedo now. And we should be deep enough that if our own torpedo misses, it shouldn't acquire us. Speaking of misses, oh, there's 
Let's turn back. Come on, find him. It's only a Romeo. And there we go. He's down. Party, however, that's another Romeo. Um, let's do Sierra Four. It's the next closest. Now, that is looking like a diesel signal. suspect this is probably going to be a merchant of some kind. And there it is. Sierra four is classified as uh, Sierra two next, they've swapped positions. Okay. Now this is an interesting signal. Humpback. We have a biologic. Which leaves Sierra 3. And I'm going to put a guess out here that Sierra 3 is going to wind up being a merchant. We would have had more combat ships on the surface if there was a surface fleet. wrong. There is... There it is. It's a troller. Yeah, it's just too many greens on the surface for it to be a surface fleet. So, once again, we have one Romeo, and it is close. Negative six on passive range, 5.6 kill yards. That's interesting, because I was getting that kind of a contact reporting at 10 kilo yards in the last engagement. Huh. No matter. And we've got a counter fire straight away, so we were too close. I was going to try and hook shot on the Romeo to avoid... Two. Counterfire two. You cheeky cunt. Alright, so. Um. Romeo is at about between four and five hundred feet, so the torpedoes are coming in from below. We are too close to the surface. And even though we're above in a duct at the moment, it's not going to make much of a difference. Those torpedoes will come straight in on us regardless. So... Um, actually, let's drop a countermeasure. Alright, that'll give them something to lock onto once they go active. We'll continue here. I was thinking about going up in between the torpedoes, but um, we have a live Mark 48 ADCAP that has no wire attached that's currently hunting a submarine, and while I do want to get down here and below so these torpedoes can't see me, I don't want to get too close to my own because that would be bad. And they 
torpedoes have still not gone live. And there it goes, just gone live, and we are underneath them and out of the search cone. So that is it. Okay, so the enemy Romeo has dropped two countermeasures and looks to be maneuvering. No, no turn backs from either torpedo. We're good. Boom. And that is the end of the Romeo. Well, I, I gotta say, at least the Romeo's put up a fight, but. Yeah. Hopefully, I can get away from this point and actually start heading back down south. We've got this convoy to take out, and I would really, really, really like to engage it. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching. As always, Cold Waters will be returning soon, and until next time, remember to click that like button, share, and subscribe if you would like to see more, and as always, take care.